Stages Bike is the latest entrant to the smart bike market. And while it is a new machine, Stages Cycling itself is not new to making indoor bikes nor to power measurement. For those of you unfamiliar with smart bikes, they combine the interactivity of a smart trainer, which controls the resistance to mimic either a virtual course or to set prescribed wattage for a workout with the convenience of a dedicated indoor bike. I've been testing this for a few months along with the three other smart bikes out on the market and I'd like to give you my take on the pros and the cons of this machine. One of the main positives of the Stages bike is the frame in terms of the adjustability and how solid the thing is. Stages has been making indoor bikes for 10 years and the experience shows here. One thing I like is how there is virtually nothing in the rider space compared to some other bikes where there is a top tube that can be up to six centimeters wide and can rub on the legs of some riders. Here it's all open space because the frame is effectively built outside the, where the rider is. Uh, quick release knobs make the thing easy to adjust. There are saddle height measurements on the seat post. And again, you can wrench on the thing and it's not going anywhere. Another positive for the Stages bike is the shift buttons. They're different than uh, outdoor buttons or buttons that mimic outdoor buttons. buffins. Uh, instead, you've got up-down buttons. There are sets on the hoods, and then there are also buttons that can be put anywhere you like on the handlebar. Those just go up and down on the right-hand side in small increments, on the left-hand side in bigger increments. You can also set it up to uh, mimic a Shimano or a SRAM shifting system. Let's talk about the cranks. Those of you familiar with stages are probably familiar with their crank-based power meters. Here you've got a power meter on both the left and the right crank, and you've got four effective crank length options running from 165 up to 175. As far as power measurements, it's a little tricky to measure power on a machine like this. I use a set of Garmin Vector 3 pedals that I've in turn tested against other power meters and the Stages bike tested uh, right alongside the, the data from the Vector 3s. Again, that's just a single source, uh, but I was happy to see that those two meters tracked along nicely. In terms of ride feel, you've got a massive 50-pound flywheel here, which uh, contributes to a nice road feel. And then, like other smart bikes, you can use the thing two ways. You can use it in erg mode, where the workouts prescribed by either Zwift or Trainer Road control the wattage exactly, or you can use it in free ride mode. One thing I like about the Stages bike algorithm is that you can do prescribed workouts, and if you fall behind a little bit, it does not lock up on you. Now, many smart trainers and smart bikes take the formula of power equals torque times RPM very literally. And if your RPM, that is your cadence, slows down, then the required torque goes through the roof and makes it almost impossible to pedal. Now, Stages realizes that we're human beings, we're not machines, and sometimes we fall behind a little bit. And it builds in a little effective forgiveness. So, for instance, if you get down to like 40 RPM, it will reduce the amount of uh, required wattage to keep the thing going so you can get back on top of your cadence and keep the workout going instead of having to just come to a standstill and wait for the game to effectively reboot your erg mode. So it's a, a small detail, but, but one that I certainly appreciate. And if you've used smart trainers and you've felt that dreaded lock, you can appreciate that too. One last user-friendly piece is the cockpit configuration. You've got a spot to put your smartphone, then you've got a tablet holder, and then underneath you've got two USB ports so you can charge said phone and said tablet. And since the front end is pretty stable, you can really wrench on the bike without worrying about your tablet or phone going flying. As far as downsides, my primary beef right now is the interaction between the bike and Zwift with some of the small details. For instance, Zwift right now won't tell you what gear you're in, which in some ways is no big deal. You can just find it by feel. Uh, but if you're accustomed to riding outside and either looking down at your gears or looking at your computer for a gear indicator, it's just one frame of reference that you don't have here. Some of that is just a development thing. Stages says they've given this information to Zwift and it's a matter of time before Zwift can incorporate it in the game. Uh, but that's something that is, as of now, not in there and something that I miss. So if you are sold on riding and racing inside and a dedicated smart bike seems like a good solution, the Stages bike is a great option. Unlike the Wahoo Kicker Bike, there is no elevation tilt, 
but it is a very solid machine that's easy to adjust. At $28.99, it's not cheap, but it is cheaper than other smart bikes on the market.